all parents, especially Chinese parents, want the children go to Harvard. My mother is a traditional woman. I'm a traditional woman. When I was a child, I just did what she told. Today, it's different. <laughs> her dad started to teach her math when she was one and a half years old. After about four months, she could do fraction, decimal, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. They wanted me to excel in school, so they started preparing me at a very young age. Both of my parents didn't finish high school because of the Cultural Revolution. I was born here, so I should be able to get into a really good school and have all the opportunities that they didn't have. It's really important to my parents that I attend an Ivy League college. Been prepared for so many years, worked so hard, and she's so smart. If she's not accepted, I don't know what kind of person they are going to accept. My life is school. I wake up, I go to school, come home, do homework, eat, sleep, and then it starts over. There's very little change. A typical nerd. It's, it's very hard right now. I'm already stressed out. My mom and dad expect me to set a very good example for my brother and sister and to uphold excellence in academics at school. I'm not going to be able to make it. I was a friend who just called to see if I could do anything today, but I can't go out because my dad won't let me, so I'm just going to stay home and study. We want her to be happy, but we can't just say, okay, do whatever. You can't argue with a stubborn Chinese man. When she said, oh, can I have a party? I said, no, your top priority now is getting into one of the schools. My mom and dad are pressuring me to get into Yale, Harvard, or Princeton. Everything else is the lower class. I know my dad lives vicariously through me. One of my regrets is I didn't go to one of the elite schools. He wants me to do so much better than he did. I'll try my best to send my kids to one of those schools, no matter how expensive they are. I think my parents are going to restrict me as they've never restricted me before. I'm just going to have a lot more nights where I'm not hanging out with my friends. I'm going to be stuck at home a lot more. It's not my idea of having a good senior year. Yeah, you have gone. Well, uh, 6.19, I have 10 minutes to sleep. My senior class, there's probably 12 to 15 Asian kids. The Asian community around here is very small. You don't got Asian reality TV! <laughs> there are certain times where people are ignorant. You just gotta let them know, hey, we have feelings too. We're no different from anybody else. I, I'll give you a list for your application, which day to do what, you and I agree, and you make sure you follow on that. When I'm away for five weeks, nobody will yell at you. But my mom will. Mom will, okay. I hope you will, you will yell yourself. For what? What I don't understand is how I have to stay home so many weekends. There's always study this, study that, don't watch TV. You just have to study. I'm going to study myself to death. She's going to have a three SAT subject test, and she has to cut the playing time with her friend. I don't need the pressures of my parents to study. I'll just study by myself. I know how important these things are. Joe, how's everything? I was OK. Yeah? I hope we get a better score. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so you, you. Uh, don't worry about that. Okay. No, OK. OK. OK, to that. OK. Powerful Yale is the only thing a night person. 47,000 students. Stop! No more. No more. Why? I don't want to think about tests after I've taken them. I'll obsess over them later when I get the score back. For now, it's done. I have other things to focus on, like applications. Four hours of just straight up bullshit. Uh, it's gonna be hell. The night before the SATs, I had a game. I have no idea how I'm gonna study for SATs and. Play the game at the same time. Relax. Um, not, not trying to do anything crazy for work. Oh, oh my god! It was just an awful day. I started with a big test and then have a car accident. It was awful. And then I had to work. It sucked. 
Dad's in China. So I kind of just put myself on my own schedule. If my parents left my senior year totally up to me, I'd probably have a lot more fun than I've been having. If I had like time off and got to dance on stage, then I'd be more focused whenever I'd be studying instead of going insane. Oh, I'm so close. I am really tired and exhausted. I just want to get the SATs over with because I'm sick of them. I've been studying for the past month for these SATs and I'm not going to study that much anymore tonight. I gotta go to sleep. I haven't had that much sleep this week at all. <sighs> do something because I haven't been able to do anything for like 7,000 weeks. I have a whole day where I can do things. Do a lot of stuff. Oh, I'm going to do a lot of stuff. Today's the day that the SAT2 scores are posted. I am really pumped to find out what it is because they're supposed to be my last SATs I'm ever supposed to take, unless they're bad. I got a 780 on Math 2, US History got 640, but French I got a 490. <sighs> it was so hard, Dad. I wish you could pass a 500. In December, you do two more. SAT subject test. Okay. The next SATs are a month from now. I'm sick of the SATs. I don't ever want to take them ever again in my entire life. How many did you ignore? Two. You just ignore two. You faking you get correct. Yes. Sixty, you, you're perfectly sure. I'm perfectly sure. Okay, sometimes you make dumb mistakes. Hopefully, uh, both of them, she can get it, 700. Mm -hmm. I'm scared. If I don't do well, Dad's going to be really mad. <gasps> on both of them. Okay. <laughs> he told me he wished I could got, could have gotten an 800. Let's go. Chippa chilla. Chippa chilla. Seven, seven, it's okay. Not bad. <laughs> <laughs> not bad. Not bad. Not so good. Not good. Not yeah, bad. Yeah, not bad. Not so good. I'm pretty satisfied with my score, even if she isn't. Unless she got 800, then I will attack her. <laughs> I think her 770 is so good. No, it's not good enough. I'm going to go study. They're not bad scores. <laughs> as long as they were above 700. Hi, Mom. Hi. How is this? Michael. Ha, ha, ha. You should be him, I right? Know. He but, but he studied more than I did. Degree and he studied more than I did. Right? 710 is not good. Not good. It's not good. We mean right? not good. It's not good enough, all right? Only 710? I'm hard. Yeah. My call. My call? He doesn't need to see it. Well, let me see. Can you look at it yet? <laughs> you don't laugh at me, Michael. <laughs> huh? Uh -huh. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> what do you think? 710 is not good. Yeah, I know. Uh -huh. She only got four questions uh, righter than me. What kind of word is that? You expect it 700. 50 above. No, you expect us to You promise me. Yeah, yeah you because that's what you wanted to hear. Okay, so yeah. we're done. All right, we're yeah, done. We're done. Oh my God. And so that means that you need to study, need to study very hard. Goodbye. If Diana is not accepted by Harvard, I won't be angry at all, but I would be a little bit disappointed. Come on. That's within my expectation. I
So I'm gonna check online now. It's a page away. I'm not really expecting much, but whatever whatever happens, happens. Hey, we, we're on you either way, okay? Yeah. We will be proud of you, okay? Yeah, I know. Okay. Okay, so it's all right. Don't just I don't walk know. away. If uh, you're happy, maybe, get, I don't know, but hey, be prepared. I got a rejection. You did? Yeah. Not even deferred? Not even deferred. How do you know? I already said that I didn't expect much, not at, if anything. Well, it's a good experience, and uh, yeah, I suppose so. But well, they said that you're a strong candidate. Yeah, they say oh. that for everyone. This year, they expect less than seven percent. Mm -hmm. Less than seven percent acceptance rate. Oh, my I, just, God. I just, I just think you, you no. Know. I just I think mean, no, no. I already know. I told you I didn't expect anything. It really doesn't matter. I'm applying to nine other schools anyway. I'm 100% sure she's going to get into one of them. Sign in. It's coming up. It says, Dear Sophie, I'm sorry to notify you that after reviewing your application thoroughly, our selection committee is unable to offer you admission to the University of Pennsylvania class of 2010. Not special enough. You're gonna do an Ivy, it's like you're set, but because of the name, that's why I wanted to get into Yale, Harvard, or Princeton just a little bit, just so my grandparents would know back home. It doesn't mean anything else, it's just a rejection. The Washington and Lee Larson. Dear Sophie, congratulations on behalf of the George Washington Army Scholarship Committee at Washington Lee University. I am happy to inform you that you have been awarded in a full tuition standard room and board, W L scholar grant valued at $39,790. If she's not accepted, I I'm really very much disappointed. It works. It's okay if I don't get in. Yeah, of course. Cool. Yeah. There are other colleges. Don't worry, just put in. I just had to prepare myself. Good girl, good girl, good girl. <laughs> okay, working hard, working. Keep going, keep going. Play a song. Congratulations. Come on. There's no song called congratulations. Well, whatever you play it. My last request. <laughs> she can go there for graduate. Dad. Michelle always told her friend and my relatives say my mom never satisfied with me. Michelle, I want to tell you, I'm very proud of you. <laughs> 